Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here doing your daily reading for Thursday, December 16th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for your likes, shares, subscribes, and all of your fantastic energy. Just a reminder to everybody, these are general readings. Not everything will resonate with you. Take what does, leave the rest behind. And if you do enjoy my readings, please don't forget to give me that good old thumbs up by hitting the like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get right into your day. We've got the journey card coming out here. I love this energy coming in. Some of you might be making some travel plans today, especially with the holidays coming up across the globe. Maybe you're considering going out for an evening, uh, something in a little bit of a night on the town, maybe go and view some Christmas lights, have a, you know, a nice dinner somewhere. All right, but with the journey card, this can be an emotional journey as well. So maybe some of you are making some changes, making some moves, leaving certain things behind, or at least making those plans, perhaps contemplating a job change, a residence change, okay? Anything involving forward movement. For some of you, you may be looking out into the future, right? You may be looking into the year ahead. You might be starting to do some contemplation about where you see yourself, you know, going, where you see certain uh, situations progressing to. Okay, so that journey card kind of has you, you know, looking beyond, all right, looking for those, uh, looking to move forward. So uh, you could just be looking to make improvements in something too. So, you know, for some of you, this card is going to, this energy is going to hit you for today. All right. And for some of you, this is, you know, a little bit longer term. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got the first chakra, Archangel Michael. This is your root chakra. Okay. And so when we have Archangel Michael come out, this is really powerful Archangel coming here for you. Um, Archangel Michael can help you uh, regain your strength, your power, be assertive. Um, the sword that Archangel Michael ca uh, carries is one that can help you detach from current situations and, you know, so that you can move forward. Oh, look at that. Uh, so that you can move forward to something else or at the very least so that you can leave something behind, quite often some energy, some old fears, worries, doubts, okay, maybe at this time of year. Um, I know I have the unfortunate thing of that. Maybe there's people from the past that are trying to come back in at this time of year. People feel nostalgic and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, I wonder what so-and-so is doing. Uh, uh, I wonder what so-and-so is up to right now. I'm going to give them a call. And you know, sometimes those are people you don't want to hear from. All right, so we can call in Archangel Michael to help us detach from any old energy, right? Do some nice cord cutting there, like, no, go away. And that could certainly be where, our, where Archangel Michael comes in as well, to give you that strength to stand your ground, to say no. And sometimes we need that little bit of energetic boost to give us that confidence. But your first chakra really is the source of your stability, your security, your strength. It's what keeps you rounded, uh, grounded, what keeps you rooted in reality, okay? What helps you keep both feet on the ground. So when we have um, the first chakra card highlighted here, this really shows that this is your chance to... Uh, clear your first chakra, clear your root chakra, and this is your chance to make changes or make improvements in your situation so that you feel strong, you feel secure, you've got that sense of security and stability in your life. If you don't have that right now, then there's that journey card, right? So you may be making plans for the future. And you know, quite often we do make plans and you know, we kind of uh, chart our course or we do some pros and cons or whatever before we actually make any kind of moves whatsoever. And quite often, um, you know, quite often, especially if there's like some major changes that we're making, right, we do think about things quite a bit, right? So just to make sure that we're not making a mistake. So use Archangel Michael to your benefit to help you Stand firm, stand your ground, detach from anything uh, in the past or the present that is holding you back, holding you down, or, you know, to help you do those things that make you feel solid. So today's current situation, we've got the Queen of Cups. Today's situation or challenge, the Nine of Matches. Advice from Spirit. Ooh, very nice. The Eight of Buttons. 
blessings headed your way today the king of cups wow okay so we have your reading bookended with both the king and the queen of cups the energy at the bottom of the deck here we go we've got the ace of matches now this is the ace of wands energy so new beginnings new ideas new sources of inspiration um new opportunities a lot of potential that lies ahead of you now when we have the energy at the bottom of the deck okay this is the underlying energy the underlying influence that is affecting some of your decisions okay it can also sometimes be something that's just a little bit outside of reality at the moment but it's on the horizon so something that's coming in and <clears throat> excuse me, the aces are always positive energy. They're all, always the seeds of something new or the opportunity to make some improvements. So this one carries a lot of excitement, a lot of potential and a lot of positive energy coming in here. So you may just have these flashes of inspiration. You might be meeting a new person that you find inspiring. Maybe you're looking to make some change with that journey card. Okay. So this could be pretty much anything new. It can just be how you're feeling, right? This just this nice new fresh energy that is, uh, that is coming in, but this is also representative of some sort of new passion as well. The matches quite often do represent something passionate also. Okay. It could simply be you, uh, have the potential and maybe be able to find the opportunities right now to follow your passion, to follow your dreams, something that gets you fired up, something that makes you feel really magnificent and wonderful. But we've got the king, <clears throat> excuse me, the king and queen of cups today. All right. Now, for some of you with the ace of matches, the king and queen of cups, this is you currently, and this is the blessings headed your way. Okay. For some of you, you may be meeting a new person, someone who's on your same wavelength. All right. I means soulmate energy that's coming out here with the two, uh, with the two cards matching each other. So you could be meeting a new romance, a new friend, um, even a new business associate, especially with that eight of buttons. Okay. But someone that you can really click and connect with someone who is on the same page as you, the same wavelength, you just kind of dig their vibes. Okay. And you know, it could just be that you're partnering up with the right person to start a new project. Okay. But there is this new energy that's coming in here. Also with the King and Queen of Cups, perhaps you're focused on love and romance today, or you're making some plans plans, especially if things have been challenging or difficult with the nine of matches there. Okay. And you know, you have the potential to heal a situation, to grow, um, with a partnership in your life and to rekindle a spark, passion, rekindle a flame, and, you know, maybe just even level up in a situation there as well. But you yourself, we've got the Queen of Cups here as a current situation, current energy. So you might be feeling your feeling uh, at the moment. You might be feeling a little lovey-dovey, just got to say. Okay, you might also be on a healing journey here as well because we do have that journey card. We do have the first chakra card. And perhaps you're opening up to possibilities. Perhaps you've been doing a little bit of healing. And uh, maybe you're just really kind of in a calm, cool, collective state. The Queen of Cups also shows your connection to spirit okay it's very um a very uh psychic kind of card okay very spirit oriented card so your intuition may be leading you on the way you might just have a sense that there's something brewing in the wind that there's something on the horizon for you you could also be in a position where you're following your heart okay and you know, you're just doing what is right for you. Maybe you're even in, a, in a, a situation where you're helping someone through something as well. All right. But it's a very warm, very positive energy that is coming in here. And it could simply be with the King of Cups that's coming in as a blessing that some of you are just getting your ducks in a row. You're getting into alignment. You're aligning your masculine and feminine and you're just getting uh, a little bit stable. You're getting both feet on the ground and you're just feeling really good. You're feeling really positive. All right, but the nine of matches that's here today's situation or challenge. Now, the nine of matches is the nine of wands, okay? And if you know any tarot at all, you know this is the wounded warrior kind of energy. So perhaps there's something that you've been struggling with, and now you have the opportunity to uh, see something through to completion, um, you know, get that last little bit of. Uh, 
of energy that you need. There's that ace of matches. Okay, just to wrap something up and so that you can move on to something a little bit better. Now, this could be something as simple as a workplace workplace project that you've been uh, working on. Okay, some home-based project. Okay, just something that's been draining your energy a little bit because the nine of wands does show that, you know, there has been uh, a lot of challenges, some ups and downs in a situation that you've been dealing with. And this is showing you, you have the opportunity, you have the power the per, uh, to persevere, to power through. Okay. And you're right, you're right at that finish line. Okay. Now for some of you, this may be the energy that's coming towards you today. Perhaps you've got your guard up a little bit. And if you've got a new person coming in, okay, if you're meeting someone new, uh, at first you might just be like, hmm, a little bit standoffish. You might have some boundaries put up, right? And it's like, hmm, you're kind of, you know, you're warm and open and receptive, right? And, you know, but at the same time, you're a little bit wary of a situation. It's like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I can really, you know, kind of open up and trust uh, a certain situation or this person right away. So you might just be keeping your wits about you a little bit, okay? Um, but, you know, with the positive energy that's coming in, it might be okay to put your guard down. Trust your intuition, no matter what your situation is, okay? But I do feel that for, uh, for a lot of you here, something that you've been struggling with for a while or something that's just been difficult or maybe energetically draining, I feel as if you're getting, uh, you're getting things wrapped up, you're getting things finished, you're ready to move forward, right? Complete something. And then it's like, okay, let's do something a little bit more fun. Uh, cause the matches brings in some fun energy. Okay. So it just feels you're right at that finish line and you're like, yes, ready to take that next step your advice from spirit. Okay. Sometimes you need to put in the effort, put in the hard work to accomplish a goal, to accomplish a dream. And you know, when we have the eight of pentacles, whatever your situation happens to be, you're right but close to the finish line. All right. And we see that with that nine of matches as well. You may just need to put in that last burst of effort, that last, um, you know, that last, uh, dot on the I or the cross on the T. Okay. You're right here at the level of, um, mastery. You're about to complete something here. Okay. For some of you, your advice from spirit here is just to power through. And just that reminder that you're right on the edge, you're right on the cusp of completion. All right. And you're right on the edge of being able to, you know, you're kind of like a little bit about to wrap up one thing and something new, exciting is waiting in the wings. Okay. So, you know, for some of you, it's just really that stepping forward, just stepping up to the plate, just persevering and things are going to get a little bit easier. Things are going to get a little bit better for you. The eight of uh, buttons can also represent that there may be a project coming in um, that you need to really, uh, that you can really sink your teeth into and that this will be beneficial for you. This will be something that, yes, you may have to work hard, but the rewards will be incredibly positive for you. The next card after the eight of buttons is the nine of buttons, which is the nine of pentacles, which is success, completion, and also abundance as well coming in. So you're right there. Okay. And spirit also wants to remind you with the eight of pentacles that, you know, you have worked really Really hard to get to where you are and don't give up keep moving forward okay because you're right on the edge here you're right on the cusp of getting rewards accolades or being able to use your previous situation to give yourself a leg up in the world all right and don't underestimate your knowledge your experience your skills because you are far more skilled than you probably give yourself credit for so give yourself a pat on the back celebrate your accomplishments and achievements. Okay. And sometimes that eight of um, pentacles, cause it does, um, does mean a level of mastery. Okay. Um, you may also be in a position where, uh, you are, you know, if you've been in school or anything like that, uh, taking any kind of courses, you're right there at the edge where, you know, the, uh, the student uh, now may be able to overtake the master, the teacher. Okay. So you may actually be right on the edge here of transitioning from say an employee, a worker bee up into the level of leadership, <clears throat> but your blessings headed your way today. We do have the King of cups coming in here and this is absolutely beautiful. So yes, for some of you, this represents a new person coming in. 
You may even be focused on your love and romance, your current partnerships. Okay, there may be something unexpected that's brewing behind the scenes there with that ace of matches. Okay, something a little bit exciting, something new, something fresh. So some of you may be, uh, you know, focusing on your relationships today, relationships of all kinds. Okay, but yes, some of you, you may actually be right on the edge, right on the cusp of meeting someone new, someone uh, who may actually sweep you off your feet in some way. Okay, a little bit of head over heels um, energy, but with a little bit of, mm, I don't know, with a little bit of kind of uh, wariness there. Okay, but this is also, can also be you um, ready to level up. Up, right we've got the queen of cups and then you have the potential to level up into the king so the queen of cups is really a nurturing kind of energy a little bit quieter energy doing all the prep work in the background doing all the clearing doing all the you know um emotional uh repair if you will and then the kings take action the kings take the lead the kings take that step forward so you could certainly have a potential here um to level up right and we have that with that eight of um eight of buttons there also okay so there's keep your eye out be open okay be open to different people different opportunities okay all of these things because there's some sort of little shift here that's coming in for some of you that this might be something big that you're on the horizon for. For some of you, maybe it's just a little small. Maybe it's internal within you. But whatever it is, there's certainly a leveling up of some sort that is coming in here for you. And it's exciting. And um, it's uh, really quite beautiful energy. And it's very peaceful as well. So, you know, if things have been a little bit difficult or challenging, okay, there's this peaceful energy that's coming in. So really use Archangel Michael to help you, to guide you, to uh, help you detach from anything, nine of wands, anything that has the potential to hold you back or threaten your forward progress, okay? Because we do have all of this forward progress that's coming in here. And again, it's exciting. Some of you, it's just healing. But for others of you, this has to do with your money. And perhaps even with that um, eight of pentacles, perhaps even your knowledge, you're about to level up, or your commitment. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. But I'm going to close out your reading here with a couple of healing angel cards. Since we do have that king and queen of cups. And some of you are on a little bit of a healing journey there. And let's just see what else we have for you guys. Thank you. And we have, if you get nervous, focus on service. Put your, intent, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. We also have integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. And I'm going to get one more. And last, solar plexus chakra. This is your source of power. This is right below your rib cage. Okay, this is your source of, I am powerful. I can do this, right? It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. All right, take charge, move forward, make improvements. Don't, don't give up. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to leave that there. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I hope you have a magnificent day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.